Welcome back, everyone. This will be the very first time in Nigeria's history, democratic history, though, that a sitting president will be absent on a day as a democracy day. Uh, of course, another day that uh, the government is commemorating his inauguration. President Muhammad Buhari is away on medical vacation in London and we wish him quick recovery. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimaji, on Monday morning, gave a sort of appraiser and more promises were given by the government to Nigerians. The opposition party, a faction of it though, the Kiatika Committee led by Senator Men Makarafi, the party had said that there is nothing to celebrate to, uh, on the Democracy Day as Nigeria marks uh, and commemorates uh, the civilian rule. Let's continue with the conversation now with Chief Demola Sereke, a former minister uh, in Nigeria, and Malam Garba Shewu, the senior special assistant to the president of media publicity. Uh, at, the, at this point in, uh, in, in our democratic life, your party, the APC, came campaigning, promising change. The question is, has those changed been given to Nigerians? Uh, uh, some people will even say, when they say change, ask them, what kind of change? Has it gotten to that point? Well, I mean, I can tell you that um, there has been tremendous change. The corruption was so embedded in the nation, was so embedded. You can see the plethora of um, monies and missing money, even according to a report of uh, Sanusi, the now Emir of Kano. 50 billion, he said at the time, then I said, oh, it was 25 billion. Come on. Who does that? That, oh, you stole 10 naira. You now say, oh, no, no, I stole only 5 naira. The father, the money was missing. So you can now imagine what happened in the case of um, um, the Suki, $2.7 billion. I'm not sure of the exact figure, but I know it was 2 point something billion dollars. That is one third of the total treasury, I mean, total budget of Nigeria. The debt management office is empty. Our foreign reserves, as left by President Yaradu at the time from $47 billion, became so deflected. They spent so much money. So now the fear of worry is the beginning of wisdom, that you cannot do some things. People are now watchful. Of if, if you're talking about anti-corruption war, which you just mentioned, the question is how many prosecutions have been made in two years that this song has been uh, ringing loud and clear? But you ask the question, how many prosecutions? Is it just mere noise that have been made? Over? I, can, I can tell you that the whistleblowing measure has been very, very um, implemented excellently. It's been implemented excellently. In, exceed, in, in fact, beyond my own imagination, you are better with 95% of something than 0%. So you give whistleblower 5%. That's number one. Number two, there have been a lot of administrative bills. A lot of people are on admin, admin bills returning money. What's the essence of jailing them? At the end of the day, you don't recover anything. And their generations upon generations will enjoy the loot. So what the government is putting in place and doing by uh, Mago to ensure that uh, the money is returned. We can see the money. We can see where it is hidden in many, many cases. And we're interested in recovering the money. Chief Seriki. Because a lot of people are being punished. And at the end of the day, they still get away with the money. Their families, their wives, their kids, and all that will be rising Rolls Royce all over the world and all that. So that is even a better condition for me. I, I think I'm pleased with that. Okay. And I think a lot of Nigerians are pleased with that. You're a politician and you, you of course you speak with your people and you know what they feel. Do you see a rising uh, 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 or a decreasing level of popularity of your party on the street? Well, I mean, for now I don't see it because uh, Nigerians are being patient with us. They're showing you think Nigerians are not angry with your no, party? No, no. They, look, there's no government that they're not angry with. There's no government. Look, the other time Save Nigeria group against Jonathan, it was, it, was, it was not something meaningful. Few people put together and said that they were marching towards a letter. And Nigerians are angry. And there's never a time that we're not angry because you have to bear in mind that uh, the Nigerianism in all of us has a lot to do with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We must ensure that we maintain that integrity. And we, ourselves as citizens, we have to be patriotic. Chief Seriki, as a politician, if yeah. your party goes to the polls today, how do you think you will perform? Well, I mean, if it's, uh, it depends. If it's in, in Lagos, we we'll win. No, if it's a national we, election. I, it depends. No, no, no. I mean, today, yeah, if you go to, for example, in America, 
you have so you have midterm elections. Midterm elections. If, if you, for example, if your if your party goes for a national election today, do you think you can win the election? Of elections? course you will. You, you, you I, your party. There are a lot of anger on online. Look, there, there's so much even, unpopularity even, of even the pundits we are running in America, Hillary Clinton and Trump. Yeah, come on, you pundits sit down and do all these paperwork and all that. Politics this is, is not paperwork. No politics. No the politics fact that he, the APC no right now, taught, as it's currently, no politics is taught wrong. in classroom because they will not teach you some things in classrooms. No okay. politics. Uh, let me remind you it of some of the only science me, of politics taught in classrooms. Let me quickly show you the economic indicators of Nigeria. Perhaps yeah. you might be able to change your mind on some of these issues. Look at it. The inflation rates double digits right now. 17.24 percent as of april 2017 gdp minus 0 0.52 q1 of 2017 um well all production output has gone up uh unemployment rates 13.9 our external results is increased external debt has gone to 11.41 billion dollar domestic debt 45.98 billion dollar manufacturing index 5.1 as of april 2017 monetary policy 14% exchange rate, 305. It went up to about 500 naira okay, so, at some point. So, it, let me, let me, sad let, taste let, of an, you just, an economy, you gave, isn't it? You gave statistics to Nigerians, and I can tell you that uh, apart from politics, I'm an, I'm an accountant. You cannot determine figures of this nature that is not statistically correct. You know why? I don't know where you get this information from. Budget is yet to be signed yet to be approved by the Congress, by the Senate and the other reps. They're yet to release this. As long as they're not releasing it, you go, oh, I don't know where you get this these figure are from. Figures, Who does that? These are even figures from the, from the Bureau of Statistics. These of are where? figures that the, are 2016? current. 2016? No, these are figures as of April 2017, some say, of them. How can you say an employment rate, unemployment rate 13.5%? Where did you get that from? That's where we have. Oh, my goodness. Also, so you are sad that you have this kind of figure. 13.5% is even too low. It's more than that. Unemployment rate in Nigeria so you think is, is more than 20%. Okay, agreed. It's even so, bad. And the problem of Nigeria is not just unemployment. It's more of unemployable because we have qualities of, univer quality, qualities of our graduates from universities are very poor mm. and shoddy. All right. Let, let me quickly go to our Buja studio.